when your first sale on eBay comes in, you need to keep track of your revenue and your cost of doing business. The IRS is going to want to know during tax season, and you're going to want to know how much money you're making too. You need something to measure your goals against. You need to keep track of the cost of doing business so you know what expenses need to be cut. You'll learn exactly how to use Microsoft Excel to keep track of your books for your online business. At this point, you should have no upfront costs. The only expense that you'll encounter is after you make a sale, in which case you only need to keep track of the sales transactions. This example is from a sale that I made from my e-commerce store and not from eBay. In this situation, the eBay fees are irrelevant. This is the main reason to show you why your eBay account and e-commerce store will have different prices for your products. Create a Microsoft Excel file and title it with the name of your business and the year. You want to complete the column headings for each of these fields. You want to mark down the date of the transaction. You want to copy and paste the customer shipping address and email address so you can easily contact them in the future. You also want to mark down their order information, the contents of your customer's orders. You want to mark down the quantity of how many items of each product your customer bought. You want to mark down the revenue, meaning what was the sale price, how much did your customer pay for their order. You want to mark down the cost of goods, how much did you have to pay for your customer's order. You want to mark down the shipping costs. How much did it cost you to ship out your customer's order? You want to mark down eBay fees. How much of a commission did eBay charge you for the sale? It's usually 9 or 10% per sale. Merchant fees. How much did your merchant account, payment gateway, or PayPal charge you for the transaction? And lastly, your net profit. How much money did you make from your customer's orders? Gross revenue minus your cost of goods and other expenses. It's very simple math. You also want to input your tracking number. So upload the tracking number from your customer's order into your Excel spreadsheet to keep track of your shipping history.